Mike Chet, can you hear me? Good morning, everyone. 7.30 a.m. Welcome to the live. You guys are here. Let me know where you're from and what time it is. Today, I kind of want to try something new. I want to get her to bark. Touch. Speak. 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 She has no idea what this is. Speak. Down. Good. Oh, good job, girl. Good job. I want her, I want to teach her how to bark because it'll be a nice on and off switch to get the dog amped up and ready to work. Right, what do people, what do um, heavy lifters do right before they go and pick up and do one big rep? They hype themselves up, right? They yell, they flex, uh, and then they go and do it. It's the same concept with the dog. Cool girl. If I can get her to on and off parking, then that would be good because that would turn on her energy. Make her more excited. Oof, 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 oof. Gets her amped up and ready to work. Gets them more excited. Lets them express themselves as well. Out. Out. Stay. Stay. Heal. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Go get it. Go get it. Speak. Speak. Watch. 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 Go get it. 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 Okay, okay. Good. Yes. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Okay. Yes, get it, get it. Okay. Yes, go. Go. Yes. 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 Speak. 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 All she has to do is just 
spark one so she's gonna get it. What's up, you guys? Um, is the music too loud? Can you guys hear the music? This is me trying to teach her a new command. This is how it looks like in real life. It can be frustrating. It can take a while, but this is the process. Yes. Speak, speak. She knows how to bark. She barks a lot, but just not on command and not while we're training. Speak, speak. Speak. Good. Heal. 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 Good. No. Don't want to tug on it unless she's she has a grip on the ball. Last time she gripped the rope, I tugged it and it created a a rope burn in between her teeth, right where her gun is at. Out. 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 Heel. No. hiding behind me.
see how the body's behind me. No. Heel. Yes, good, beautiful. Place. You. No. Yes. Good. Well, I should have said yes. Yes, should have been. Is the command to go go after it good means continue doing what you're doing but you're doing the right thing come good out, out. touch out out uh yes touch place touch heel position you you good you you no. you good focus Good girl. Good girl. 
I gotta find me a wall that's about this big and do that exercise. That'll help the dog get into position. Come. Good. Place. Good job. No. Yes. Perfect. I like that. Her head position. I would like it to be up more. Here. Good. Sit. learning how to receive the reward in different positions. Touch or place. Let's see if I do the ball. Hope that work. Heel. Yes. Job. That was much better. Oh, touch. Place. There's a lot of commands. You. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. It's, the head's still crooked, though. I would rather have it looking straight up. Get it. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Just a boring old training session. It's with me and Nock. Enjoying the morning air. Out. Now we're taking it back. Place. We're taking, we're going back a few steps. Going back to the beginning and just working on the mechanics and the fundamental. Just getting that position right. I think it's got to start with the positioning and the way the, the body is. And then we can start moving on to movement. You. No. Yes. That's a good spot. So I think I was too forward before. I got to go back. Because when our paws are touching this, the paws have to touch this. It doesn't matter where, but most likely she ends up being on the edge here. So if her feet are here, then her body's gonna be about here. So here. Yes. Like that. Nice. Good. Nice and tight on me, but wasn't leaning. Body was a little crooked in the back, but I was able to manipulate it with my feet going, going like this. Place. My buddy just sent me a post saying that the handler, which is the owner, the handler skills have to be just as good as the dog or you'll never get to where you're at. Because both of you guys, both have to be training, both have to work on positioning you. No. Yes. Okay, so we're at that point now where her mind is working, right? So I said no earlier because she had one foot off of the plate. So I said no. She was thinking about it, shuffling her feet. As soon as she went here and looked at me, Boom, reward. Out. 
Yuk. How's that head position? Pretty good, huh? I'm happy with that. Good. Can she go up higher? Maybe? I don't know. But I feel like that's pretty good. What do you guys think? You. Beautiful. That's the one. That's the spot I was looking for. Okay, I think we got it. I think I got the basis, the foundation of where we need to be at. Place. Because this is my first time doing this, you guys. My first time working on Focus Heal and actually taking it serious. Heal. Because she knows how to heal. Right? She knows how to heal, but... Is it pretty? It's gotta be pretty, because it's competition. got to be pretty because it's a competition so they judge it by the looks how happy the dog looks is it prancing is it looking up at you does it have that energy or does it look flat boring and doing it because it has to right out so i've always loved the way dogs look focus heel on their prancing head up high body straight so that's what we're aiming for Heel. Yes. Nice. That was good. That was really good. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Let me just check the chat rooms. Hey, man, you guys are uh, more than welcome to ask questions, and then I'll get to it when I see the screen again. How many commands do I work on one time? Uh, yeah, definitely over, definitely uh, worry about overwhelming them. So I have to watch out with what I do. I try to stay on, on one thing at a time. But sometimes, you know, I freestyle. And if I feel like the dog is getting frustrated from the new command that we're doing, then I'll do another command that the dog knows, right? That the knows that the dog knows really well, so that way he succeeds, and I give that dog a win, which will boost up the confidence. So, So far, I've found a good spot that... Yes, see that position's good. Her head's good, she's looking up, and it's not curled in like this, it's straight up. Good, so it was me. My positioning was wrong the whole time. Place, place. So, look, now that things are clicking, I just gotta do this move a hundred times. I just gotta keep doing it. But I got to do it in a way where it's fun for the dog and it's not um, overused. So in that case, I do a couple of reps, boom, then I do another activity, throw the ball, and then maybe do a couple more, and then that's it. Right? If you do too much of something, it gets boring. Sit. Down. Nope. Doesn't matter. She's got to wait for the command. Dogs are really smart and they anticipate your next move. You. Nope. Yes, actually. Her positioning was good, it's just they weren't on the plate. Good job, bro. Ooh. Ooh, yes. 
And then, so, the only time the dog has lets go of the prize, of the reward, is when my hand is like this, or I tell her out, right? But if I grab it this way, she shouldn't let go. She's got to pull, right? Because she's on a free command. Good cool, girl. So I cuff it. That's a sign to let it go. You. Yes, damn, that's good. Should I be worried about her feet? On the plate? Does she even need that plate? Out. Place. Heel. Yeah, okay, so she's looking at the plate. So that's her guide. Place. Place. Good. So she needs this right now. And if I take this out of the picture, it's got to be out of the picture. Nowhere near me. Because this is what we're conditioning on. So, Angelo, you're moving too fast. Calm down. Just, you found a good sweet spot. Just work on it for a little bit. And then try something new. Don't get too excited. So if I want her to be on the plate, maybe go up. Heel. No, no. Yes. I like her head positionings. Good girl. Ah. Good. Middle. Guard. Guard. Good. Down. Down. Place. No. Place. Good. Normally I point, right? Easier for the dog because you're helping and guide the dog. But that time I just said place without any hand movement. And so at first she got it wrong. Keep it simple, no. Repeat the command, place. Let her think about it. If this isn't it, then it's gotta be somewhere else. Heal. Yes, beautiful. Good job, girl. Good job. Woo. Yes, strong girl. Out. Place. Let's go ball in the right hand, out of sight. No, place. No, place. So she's starting to understand that when I go like this, it means heel, which could be cool. I can, dogs learn from, learn visually first. They learn from hand commands or hand signals, sign language before they learn vo vocally. So that's why you see her jumping the gun when I go like this, because she's anticipating it. Heel. No. No, oh, look at her head. It's supposed to be straight up at me. Place. So we're not ready yet. We're not ready to take the ball out. Yep. Good. See? Much better, right? Straight. The thing is, once I start moving the ball this way and her head's crooked, how do I guide her just by saying no? It's gonna be all right. Out. Place. Here. No. Yes. She you know the difference between this and that. All right. How long have we been training? 
about 20 minutes now. Out. Yes. Oh, I don't, you guys can't catch that movement because I'm on live and the quality sucks because my internet sucks over here. But she started off with her head here and slowly started rotating her head. Right when it became straight, I said yes and let it go. So I think, so she's actually understanding that I'm rewarding her based on her body positioning, which is a pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, pretty damn awesome. Heel. Yes. Good. All right, I'm gonna end it right there. I think we're good. I think that was pretty good. Or at least tight. I'm off today, so. I'm about to be kicking it with my dogs all day long. Perfect. Hell yeah. Fupa. Fabulous. Illinois. What the hell? You already broke your leg? Shoot. 165 Roddy. I'm not mistaken. What's up, Christopher? Hey, you guys got any questions about dog training? Let's talk. Let's have a discussion. Or do you guys have any tips for me? If you guys have any tips for me, any advice, man, tell me. If you guys want me to try something else, let me know. I'm open to every single technique out there. I'm going to get her how to bark on command. But the thing is, you know, I can do it in front of you guys, but it's going to be annoying because you're just going to hear me say, speak, speak, speak. Because the goal is to get her frustrated, right? And if you do this, the dog learns how to imitate that with the mouth, right? So when the mouth goes like this, if let's say they start chomping without barking, Boom, that's a reward because now they know, okay, this means move my mouth. And eventually you build that frustration until they make a, a noise, just even a little, little noise. Oh, boom, mark and reward. Next thing you know, they're going to know, damn, if I move my mouth, make noise, I'm going to get that reward. Then they just let it all out and start barking like crazy. And that's really gonna boost up her confidence. Place. No. Nope. Out. Place. Her mind is crazy right now. It's all over the place. She's excited. So the ball's on the ground. Let's see if I can get her to heal and look at me. Most likely she's gonna heal and just look at the ball. So we'll see. Heal. No. Yes. But the, the head's crooked. It's not where I want it to be. Out. So she's not there yet. That's what you call proofing your work. What you're doing is the dog really understanding what you want. So you do other exercises to proof that work. And so 
We proofed it and it did not work. So that means you're not ready to move forward. You see how the head's straight right there? Right there is where I want it to be. Before, she's like that, right? The head shouldn't be like that. The head should be like that, straight up. Heel. Good. That's where I want it. How do we get the dog to do that? We just gotta keep, keep painting the picture and let them know that's where I want your head. Yes. You gotta do it a hundred times, a thousand times. Do different exercises that end with those results. Out. Heel. No. Touch, touch, touch. Heel. Yes. Perfect. Give her small wins. If she starts getting frustrated because she's not getting it and you're not giving her the reward, take a step back and reward her with something small. Good. Out. Good girl. Yeah. One bounce catch. Good girl. Right here. Go. She missed it. Good. Place. Heel. No. Yes. Pretty good. I don't care if she's sitting down or standing up. Either or is fine with me. I would rather actually have her stand up. Because when I say out, when I say heel, as soon as she gets into that position, boom, we're taking off. Right? Then you got decoys on each side banging those sticks, agitating the dog, and we're healing, and she's looking up at me. Heal. Focus. Good. Let's do one more. And then I'm gonna go and get Uso. Good. Place. I'm gonna make sure it's a nice one. Here. Nope. Yes, that was good. Okay, one more, one more. One more. She's kind of leaning on my body. I don't know if I like that. Out. Place. Heel. No. Oh. Place. Place. Heel. Yes, all right, that's a good one. That was a good one, and we're done. All right, no questions, oh wait, let's see here. How do you teach the down command? It's called luring. So you got to get a treat. There's two ways to do it. You can force the dog down or you can do it positively, right? Don't force the dog down. You can do that later when the dog knows it. But you just grab a treat. 
bring it down, right? Grab a tree, bring it down. It's gonna be difficult at first, but once you get it, once the dog goes all the way down, then you say, yes, give him a treat. Then you do that a thousand times. The dog will learn it. A knock gets created sometimes, but she's good at holding her bladder. So she roams around at nighttime. If we crate her, it's um, for a specific reason. Uh, for books for training, mm, no, not really. If you're using the e-collar, then I would do Larry Cron's e-collar book. That's the only one I've read so far. Tommy guy, damn, look at you, bro, hyping me up. Bro, I'm just a regular dog owner, man. What's cool is that when I do these lives, I I briefly scan through it once it goes on YouTube. And I it's just like looking at myself in the mirror, you know? I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, my body posture wasn't straight, you know? I should have done this and that. So actually, every day I'm doing this live, I'm learning. So, and... I'm also finding out that I breathe hard, so I'm learning how to control my breathing. Um, it's kind of weird to hear my voice live, so I'm working on being conscious about what I say, how I say it, and the things I say. So I'm actually learning a lot about personal growth doing these lives, just as much as I am building the relationship with my dog. A lot of benefits, man. All right, I think I'm done. Oh, one more question. Can you guys hear the music in the background? I was trying to make it a little bit more enjoyable to watch instead of just kind of um, me just talking. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll look through it and I'll be able to tell if the music was good enough. Jay Lee. Jay Lee, you sent me a message yesterday about the mic, I believe. Yeah. Mic sound good today? Music is great? Sweet. Okay, so that's a good level. Perfect. Because I would rather have like nice, peaceful music in the background. Just in case, you know, I don't know, I think it's just better than me here. All right, Nock, what are we doing? Okay, come. Heal. Head should be like that. Your head should be like that. Good girl. Touch. Okay. Oh, no. Touch. First bite, you got to grab. All right. First bite, you got to latch on. Yes. No, touch. Come on. You got this. We've been training for this. Yes. No, touch. Yes. Beautiful. No, touch. She can't let go, you guys. Grab and hold. Chop down. It's a harder pillow, I know. And I'm using this as a distraction too. A little bit more pressure. She hasn't seen this in a while. Yes! Ooh! Touch. Yes. Good girl. It could be my delivery too. Nope. Touch. 
Touch. Yes. Oh, girl. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, good girl. Good job. This is uh out. Sit. Sit. What we're doing is we're sparring, right? Just practicing how to box between friends. There's no agitation whatsoever. This is just training, working on the jaw, working on control, pressure, body movement, right? Because when she catches it, boom, now she's swinging. Her front feet are up in the air. Her back feet are moving this way. She's coming this way. I got her feet coming over her head, so she's got a duck. It's a lot of stuff going on, so we got to train for this. This is not bite work. This is not <clears throat> agitation. Well, it is bite work, but no agitation. She hasn't seen real agitation. Yes. Good. Oh. Come on. Don't be scared of the stick. Come on. Good. Good. Good girl. Yes. So what I got to do is I let her know this isn't bad. She's getting scared of the stick. So the stick's not going to hurt you. Right? Come on. So what I do, I slowly wave it, right? Good girl, because I came in the picture hard, right? I'm coming in like this, swinging it right over her head. I wanted to test her and see how she was going to react. What, Uso? Man, I do this with Uso, nothing. Boom. I can hit him real hard with this. Swing it real fast. He's just going to bite harder. Uso's a beast. Out. Place. Sometimes you gotta you gotta do these things to see what you need to work on, right? So do it once, and then slowly paint the picture for the dog. Yes. Oh, girl. Oh, good job. Go, girl. Oh, yes. My goodness, you're so strong. Ah! Good. Good. Yes. Good job, girl. Oh, good girl. It's got to be controlled by can't be chaos you know as long as she's biting and holding she's good out out now to the dog this is playtime this is all play we're wrestling right now we're playing WWE we are wrestling she's having so much fun and then in between Heel. Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. Place. Heel. That's where I want her head to be. Yes. Oh, girl. Oh, nice bite. Nice bite.
You guys didn't see that, but when the dog's gripping, she had about a 75% bite. She punched in and got a better grip. And that's when I gave it to her. I want the dog to, it's okay for the dog to pull back, but the dog needs a full grip first. So when the dog readjusts to a full 100% full grip, I'm gonna reward that for her. And I'm gonna teach her every time you grip on, it's gotta be 100%. Out. 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 Damn, Angelo, you've been training for a long time. Man, I get into it. When I get into it, I get into it. Man, Angelo, the dog's been training for so long. No, he hasn't. We're playing. Training is just those little bits in between. Heel. This is training. Yes. Oh, speak, 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 down, heel, focus, good. Playtime. Yeah. Good. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Beautiful. That was a lot of pressure right there. Beautiful. All right. Man, I'm tired, girl. I'm tired. Whoo! Whoo! Out! Guard! 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 Good! This is my goal. Guard, point, say watch. Woo, 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 woo. That's my goal. That's all I need a dog to do. That's it. Stay near me and scare the shit out of people. If they start coming up to me and they touch me, that's the only time you can go grab and hold. Other than that, you stay right next to me. I got your back. It's just me and you together. We do not want to engage if we don't have to. So I need to teach her how to bark so that way I can get into this position bark while looking at an object and then we're straight no one's gonna mess with us place nope place good yes good job good good cool Got about a 80% bite. Ooh, perfect. Like 80, 90, 100. She love it, man. She's loving it. She's loving this. Now, out. Heal. Heal. Nope. Heel. Sit. Down. Heel. Get it. 
Good, come. Come, 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 come. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come. Beautiful, girl. Out. Heel. Heel. Down. Heel. Yes. Good job, bro. Out. Back. Back. No, back, 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 back. Yes. <laughs> she got about a 75% bite. Good job, girl. By the way, you guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just watch other people do it online. I watch my friends do it, which is not that often. And I just go by judgment. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it wrong. If my friends were watching me, they'd be laughing right now. Out. Because my friends, man, they're pros. They work on this every day with big ass dogs. Real life situations too, they don't mess around. Some tough people. Okay. All right, girl, we're done. I'm tired. I am beat. You did a really good job today. I think we trained for an hour. Oh yeah, look, happy dog. Okay, my phone's about to die. What percent am I on? I'm on 4%. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's any questions. No questions. All right, I'm about to go and take off. Look at that, sweating. <laughs> It's a great way to start my day. Naki's happy, she's chilling. Got to feed the chickens. Past their time. Let's see if we got any eggs here. No eggs. She was probably gonna lay right now and I messed her up. Ah, she's pissed. This is the audio setup. Got the speaker and got the other mic. So it looks like that's the right distance. Using my dad's phone to play it on YouTube. So you guys said the music is good, right? So I'm gonna keep it like that, but we'll see. I'm gonna listen to the video later. 
Got all the dog's bowls. Got apple cider vinegar for the chicken, sometimes for the dogs. But this is our outdoor sink, right? So when the water's full, just dump it. 